And here is the plaque saying that it has been designated a National Natural Landmark by the National Park Service. The bog is right down there. So let's get a closer look. All right, welcome back to another hiking adventure. I am currently walking down an abandoned road. This abandoned road will lead to a trail, which will lead to a national natural landmark. That landmark being the Spruce Bog. So we're going to go check that out. I'm also going to explore some of the surrounding Oyster River Forest as well. So let's get to it. So the old road is right up there. There is a little unmarked path that jets off of the road right before you get to the Spruce Hole Bog Trail. And it leads you to an old cemetery. So this is the third hiking adventure in a row with an old cemetery in the woods. This is very interesting. It's from the 1800s. It's 1804. Late 1800s. There's, these ones have a fence cutting off, cutting them off from the rest of them, which is interesting. That rock is unmarked. This one looks newer. You can read that one easily. 1850s. But again, the third hiking adventure in a row with a lost cemetery out in the woods, which is very interesting. And not too far away from the old cemetery. That was the Wigan Family Cemetery, by the way. They have a cellar hole. And just like that, we have made it to the Spruce Hole Bog Loop Trail. So we're going to start heading down this way toward the Spruce Hole Bog. There is the bog from up high. So I'm going to get down this hill, get it from the ground level. So there is the kettle hole from the ground. This kettle hole is actually an ancient formation. It was created at the end of the last ice age. By retreating glaciers. And as I pan around, you can see we are down in a depression. You can see the walls of the hill all around came down from there. And it's caused when those retreating glaciers create a depression like this. And there it is. The good thing about winter, you can get right up to it. So there was a legend about this hole one time, about it being a bottomless pit when in the 1800s, someone allegedly drowned inside of this bog and their body was never recovered. Again, that happened allegedly. But in 1918, University of New Hampshire students came out with a measuring rope and a weight at the end of it. They dropped it in and found that at the center of the hole, it was a whopping 20 feet deep. 
So that in all uh, ended the legend of it being a bottomless pit. But I did see that online and thought it was interesting, kind of a forgotten legend here at the Spruce Hole Bog. So the trail is off that way. As I was hiking over, I noticed there was an opening coming up. So I was hiking over wondering what exactly the view would be. And it's not quite what I expected, but it's rather interesting. Got a big old uh, solar, solar panel park here. <laughs> not exactly what I was expecting, but very interesting. Alright, I am back out onto the abandoned road, which has been converted into the Oyster River Trail. So, it's not really abandoned, but it's no longer used as a road. So we're going to take a walk down this, go through some of the Oyster River Forest, see what there is to see. And as I continue, we've come up to a big shrubland area. Nice and wide open. And the trail is kind of skirting around the shrubland area. It's nice to see a lot of, uh, there are a lot of species, a lot of small animal species that need this kind of need this kind of environment to survive in. So, it may look like a field, but this is a very important area for a lot of different types of animals. So we're going to continue on down the trail. And we've come up to a stream. Continues, it's still running despite the cold weather. Oh, you have to love that trickling sound. And next to the shrubland and new growth forest. This old growth area with all these big, tall pines. And that stream that we crossed o over earlier has opened up into a nice little, into a nice little river. All right, well, there was a current road right over there, which means that this hiking adventure is all but done. So that was neat, cool geological feature that is a national natural landmark, which is really cool. So I hope that you enjoyed this hiking adventure. Thank you for watching.